And a pleasant good Tuesday morning. It's January 11th. It's a clear morning here. It's, it's not as cold as it has been for several days. I mean, it's in the low to mid 50s. It's gonna be in the mid 70s again, like it was yesterday. Um, so we're gonna have another mild day tomorrow and then it's gonna cool down a little bit later in the week and into the weekend. But still no rain in the forecast this month, the way it's looking after a really wet December. But we could be getting more rain in February as well and possibly March, but usually by April is when the rain really starts to like become more lighter and lighter chances. And we know by May the rain's usually gone. But we also hope that we get snow in the mountains and yeah, I mean, if we get more rain and snow, you know, during February and March, the snow might stick around until at least April or or as early as, or as late as May even. Yeah, usually by June, the snow is all gone. And uh, also, um, well, happy birthday is going out to Mary J. Blige and to, uh, Ray Ordonez into Manny Acta. And also a happy birth, heavenly birthday to uh, Clarence Clemens and Jack Nimitz. Um, well, uh, the Bucks lost last night, so they're, they're in the four seed right now behind Miami. Well, the Bucks are struggling a little bit too, you know. You know well, Chicago and Brooklyn are up there at the moment. Yeah, the Warriors play the Grizz tonight. And the Clippers are back in action against Denver. And yes, the Clippers have really been struggling without Kawhi Leonard and Paul George, you know. And with the Lakers missing Anthony Davis, we're just trying to keep our head above water. And, um, well, actually, Clay Thompson scored 17 points in his debut. He played 20 minutes. That's not bad for Clay. Of course, he's the son of Michael Thompson. And he's the middle of three boys. Of course, Mikel is the oldest and Trace is the youngest. Yeah, Trace used to play for the Dodgers. Yeah, he's been bouncing in and out between the majors and minors, but. Um, well, congratulations to the Georgia Bulldogs on winning the college championship by beating Alabama. So, yeah. Well, Georgia's got another championship. But the Atlanta Hawks, of course, have been struggling this season too. And the Atlanta Falcons, of course, missed the playoffs. Yeah. Well, the Rams just gotta get ready for next Monday night against the Cardinals. And, uh, the Phoenix Suns are playing the Toronto Raptors. And of course, uh, well, the Lakers are off again tonight. Uh, tomorrow they're up in Sacramento to play the Kings. And then they play the Denver Nuggets on Saturday. So it is a short week for the Lakers and we really need it too. Especially without Anthony Davis, we're just trying to survive. If we try to get everybody healthy, the Lakers are gonna be a threat in the postseason, but if everyone's injured, it could be, uh, we could possibly miss the playoffs or try to go to the play-in tournament. I thought it was better, you know, when we had the uh, top eight just going in automatically, but with COVID, you know, it's, it's really changed. Well, as, as of right now, the Super Bowl will still be held at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood. And let's just hope that the Rams try to win every game just to get to the Super Bowl. It's going to be tough, you know. First, you've got to beat your division rival Cardinals in the wild card. Then you're likely going to have to go to Green Bay to take on the Packers up in cold Lambeau Field. And if you get past the Green Bay, then you'll either have to play Dallas or uh, possibly uh, Tampa Bay. And uh, of course, uh, the Rams are going in as huge underdogs too. 
Well, meanwhile, have a good rest of your Tuesday, your Taco Tuesday, and I'll talk to you all later. Uh, peace.